Hello everyone, welcome back to Gaming Flow and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix. Far Cry 6 is having an issue with crashing, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even we are having an issue with the black screen which even happens for many of the users and how we can fix this up so let's dive into this. The first one is all about when you are having this trouble we have to do with a simple restart. For this we just need to go over here in the start icon click on this particular icon over here and go for a restart once the restart is done we just need to try launch the game and that will be working fine and this is what we have to do as the first step next one is all about we have to uh, do is we just need to uh, launch the game not from the steam but we have to launch the game from the installation folder because for me it worked because uh, for many of the users it worked for many other games so that is why i'm adding this up in the second step that we can move to the installation folder very easily that we just need to go over here in the game right click we have to go to the properties go for install it file and just click on the browse so what happens is this will take you to this and if we check at the top that is this pc local disk c program file x86 steam steam amps common and we have far cry 6. now from here we just need to navigate to the bin folder now from here we can launch the game so this is the application so this is where from the game should be launched not from the steam because when we launch the game from the steam we are having crashing issues multiple times and once we understood that we are having the crashing once so we, sh we should not be doing it again and again which is a waste of time so that is why we have to launch the game from here and that's definitely going to work the next one is all about hence we are in the installation folder i'm going to show you two more steps that is all about we have to run the game as administrator and for this we just need to go over here right click go to show more options we have to navigate to the properties go for compatibility and we have to click on run this program as an administrator and we have to go for apply and we have to go for ok and that is what we have to do so this is even working for many users in my knowledge so you can try this out and apart from running the game as an administrator it is quite important that we have to run the game in the compatibility mode for this we just need to go over here in the game right click we have to go over here in the show more options and we have to go to the properties now we have to go to the compatibility click on run this program in the compatibility mode and we have to just click on this one and we have to go for apply and we have to go for ok and once you set this up once both the game as administrator is being done and also we have to move the next one that is all about we have to run the game in the compatibility mode and that can be done and once it is done we can just close this up and we have to move to the next one and also we can try whether the issue is going to work or not the next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to make sure that the uh, time region is correct which is very important so we just need to go over here in the settings we have to just click on the settings over here go for time and language go for date and time make sure the time time zone and everything should be turned it on and we have to go back and also we have to make sure the region is correct so over here as you can see i have selected the united states so if you're from united states i have to select united states and if you're from another country for example like you know uh, uk i have to select uk if i'm from any other countries i have to do accordingly and which is quite important as well so we just need to go back and once you're done with this one we just need to close this as well and we have to try launch the game next one is all about we need to launch the game and you have to press alt and tap that is very important because it worked so just launch the game and press alt and tap from the keyboard and that might work that is very important as well next one is all about we have to delete the saved game file which is a very important step for this what we need to do is we just need to go over here in the file explorer now from here we have to go to this pc we have to go to the documents and from here you can find you'll be able to find the folder for the game so when you started playing the game and when you are saving each games you know definitely there will be a folder named on it so you have to delete the respective folder and if it's not able to find here just get into this particular folder and you can able to find over here and also you have to delete the folder and that is very important as well so you have to keep in mind when you do this you will be losing all the progressions of the game but even if we lose it the day this particular step will be working for you guys so that's what you have to try out because it working for many users you are that is why i'm recommending you can try this out next one is all about nothing but we have to try with uh, you know we have to try with allow the game to windows security so that might work as well so uh, you know before running the game in the compatibility mode what we need to do is we just need to uh, just go over here and we have to search for control panel now from here we have to go to system and security and go for windows defender firewall 
go for allow nampur feature through windows defender firewall now from here we have to keep scrolling down and navigate to f because hence it is an alphabet it is very easy right now as you can see there is far cry 6 and over here it is market both the public and private both has to be market which is very important so once it has been market you are fine with it but if imagine the game is not here and it is not market so we have to add it by default just click on the change setting go for allow another app and go for browse now go for uh, this pc navigate to local disk c we have to go to the program file x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam and we have to go for steam amps go to common now from here we have to navigate to the far cry 6 and just get into the bin folder and here it is and we have to open and add it so we'll be getting the error because uh, the game is already added we added by default so we'll be getting the error so once the game is added you're fine with it but if the game is not there this is how we have to add it by default and once you're done with this one we just need to go back and try launch the game next one is all about we have to unplug all the usb devices so we might be connected with a lot of peripherals right now we might be connected with multiple monitors we might be connected with you know what i have to say we might be connected with multiple controllers joysticks and many things might be connected at the same time so what we need to do is we just need to unplug all these things because or else we'll be having the trouble so just remove everything and once you remove everything try launch the game once you launch the game and you are in the game you'll be fine with it so that is what we have to do so you can try this out and once you're done with this one we have to move to the next one that is all about we have to perform a clean boot for this it's called system configuration just go over here and we have to search for system configuration now go for services and we have to go for disable all go for uh, hide all microsoft should be marked and go for disable all not this one first click this one and go for hide all microsoft services and go for apply and go for okay go for restart that is what we have to do so once you're done with the restart still if you're having the trouble we can move to the next one that is all about we have to disable the steam overlay so just go over here right click and we have to go to the properties we have to go over here in the install it file and just go over here over here make sure if it is turned it on we have to turn this off and once afterwards try launch the game also you can try with the next one that given the commands in the launch option will be working fine as well so this what we need to do is we just need to go over here so uh, the launch option so we have to try with dx11 we can try with the dx11 if dx11 is not working we can try with dx12 so either the dx11 or we have to try with the dx12 it will be working so uh, you can try with the dx12 and dx11 any one of the things will be working fine because uh, you know that is going to work for you in most cases and once you're done with this one try launch the game so uh, this is this even worked for many games including the spider-man morales even for the finals and even for uh, you know lethal company and for these games it worked so you can try this out next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to make sure the one thing that we have to close all the overlay application which is running in the background that is why we are having the crashing issue for this reason we have to go over here in the start over here right click and we have to navigate to the task manager and now from here as you can see we have to check over here at the top if there are a lot of things running in the background and all these things are causing the issue up so at the same time when you launch the game your ram also being utilized for these purposes that is why we are having the crashing issue so it is quite important in the common sense we have to understood we have to close all the overlay application so as you can see check over here will be able to find you know uh, for example river tuner msc afterburner and also even uh, discord and all those things which comes to the category of both overlay and overclocking application and that is why we are having the crashing issue so just remove all these things from here and once you're done with this one we just need to close this and we have to go back and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here in the search we have to navigate to the graphics settings now from here what we need to do is we just need to add the game so just click on the browse we have to navigate to the installation folder first go to local to see we have to navigate to the program file x86 go for steam and we have to navigate to steam apps and we have to go to common now from here we have to go to far cry 6 and we have to go for bin and select this one and we have to go for add so once you add this up just go for option and we have to set this to high performance and go for save and once you save this just close this and we have to go back and try launching the game next one is all about after trying with this if you're having still the trouble then we just need to move to the next one that is all about we have to increase the virtual memory which is a very important step so just go over here in the search and we have to search for view advanced system settings go over here in the advanced tab and navigate to settings 
go for the advanced once again and go for change and make sure this is blank and you have to select the local to see we have to go for the custom size and set the value initial size that is 1.5 times the total tram and we have the next one that is maximum size three times the total tram so we need a calculator so just go over here in the calculator so we have to type the first one we have to type the ram that is 32 gb multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 1.5 that brings you 49152 which is the value we have to copy this paste this up the next one is all about we have to try with the next one we have to go with the 32 gb multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that means you 98304 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it as well set this up and once afterwards we just need to try launch the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to update the windows which is very important step so just go over, over here navigate to the settings over here and we have to go to the windows update just update the windows so if you're having any kind of pending updates like cumulative updates and all those things just update it and once afterwards we just need to try go for the restart and afterwards we can try this out next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to update the graphics card manually for this i'll be providing a link in the description to both nvidia as well as to the amd so the NVIDIA users has to go over here, you have to select everything like your product type should be selected, product series should be selected, product operating system language, everything should be selected. And once after you set this up and everything is selected over here, as you can see, you can just go over here and everything is selected. You can just go over here, over here, and you can go for a start search. And what happens is you'll be getting the latest versions of graphics card over here. So the 546.33 is the latest released versions of graphics card. So you can download this one and also we are having one. Also, you can try this one as well. And once you're done with this one, you can try this out. And next one also we have to try with this and you can try with this one. And also you can go for the AMD. We can set every details over here and go for submit. And when you go for submit, if any kind of updates are there, for example, if you're having any kind of updates, you know, it will be rolling out and you'll be getting the respective versions from there and you can download it as well. And also you can try installing the Microsoft Visual C++, which did work it for many users, go over here. And if the system is based on x64, you can download this one. If the system is based on x86, you can download this one. So you can download according to your PC's configuration. And once you download this one, install a restart is a mandatory and try launching the game. After trying with this, if you're having still the issue with this and all these things clubbing up and if you're having the still issue, the last two solution which can be done and one among them is all about we have to go over here, go over here and manage and go for uninstall the game and you have to reinstall it back. Because it worked for many users, you can try this out. And one more step that I would like to add, which I found it from the Reddit. For many users, when they change the installation folder of the game from local to C to D, it worked for them. Now, the same way, in the, uh, simultaneously, in the same vice versa, we can try from D to C as well, and it worked for many users as well. So these possible workarounds can be done when you're having an issue with the Far Cry 6, is having these kind of issue. I hope this video is helpful, and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more of these kind of videos. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye-bye.